Hi everybody and welcome to my 8th advanced excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to continue showing you how to do mail mergers. So from the last tutorial I've created the, the template for the rest of the invoice um, and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to fill the, the, the rest of the information in. So all we want to do is put in the invoice reference so again enter a merge fields and put in the reference and then uh, we'll put in the name again so we'll just put the salutation and then a space and then the last name um, and then we'll go down to uh, service costs thank you for your recent purchase the costs of which are outlined below and then service costs and we'll insert the mail, the mail fields and put in the invoice amount and insert that and then that's it, that's me with all my fields in. So let's preview my letters. So go to preview. So you'll see now that my invoice reference is coming through. Uh, and as I flick through the, the, the different invoices for different customers, you can see that they, that's updated. And then you've also got the uh, Dear Dr. Shamal and Dear Miss Hennis. But what you will notice is that the, the service cost um, it's coming through as just a normal number. Um, if we open up our mail merge data, uh, then you'll then you'll see that in here it's formatted to be a currency. Uh, but when it pulls through to the Word document, it's only actually going to bring through the value of the cell, and not how this cell is formatted. So when you, the actual values will show up here, so that the actual value of that cell is seventy five. And not 75 pounds and zero zero pence so what you have to do and this is where I went into it before in the last tutorial so if you right click on the field and go to toggle field codes then it will allow you to write in a format so I'm going to use what's called doing a, a number picture uh, format and it takes a little bit of getting used to and you normally have to play around a little bit um, if you go on to the, the help website then the number picture field switch um, and this gives you uh, information on how, how to do various different things within it um, but this just lets you change how the number looks within your within your field um, so I'll, I'll copy this URL in, into the video um, so let's close the spreadsheet back down again and let's write our one in. So I'm going to put backslash hashtag, um, and that's how you always start off your number picture switch. Um, so that says, okay, I'm going to write a format in here. So then we'll write a format. My format's going to be pound sign hashtag dot zero zero. So this is saying. I want to put a pound sign, then my value, then a decimal point, and then zeros. But it's actually going to say if it if the value has a decimal point in it, then it's going to fill these zeros up. Um, and if it has more than the two zeros, it's going to cut them off and put them just to the two values. Um, so it's. It takes it does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, this help is quite useful. It gives you some very good examples. So I would have a read through that. Um, but then if I untoggle this now, um, go back, then you'll notice that it hasn't worked. Um, and that's probably because it's I put a space in it, um, or because I haven't refreshed it by going on to a different customer. So if we flick through the recipients now. And you'll see that it's showing it as pound sign, the value dot zero zero, rather than just bringing through the value of the, of the cell. Um, you can also, if you right click on it and go to edit fields, you can also um, you can put text it to be inserted before or text to be inserted after, which is very useful. Um, and you can also change the format of it in there. Um, so that's really useful. Um, and again, you can go onto your 
your codes and you can change your code your codes in here as well. Um, so that is how you would use your your number switch. So you just put a backslash and then a hashtag and then your field codes and then it will come through formatted in, in a different way. Um, so that is it for how you would complete the, the document. Um, but what, what we want to do next is we want to create a document that we can print up because you're not going to want to go through each recipient like this and print each, print each one off in turn and you're doing thousands and thousands of, of things. You want to be able to just do them in one. And it gives you a few different options to do this. So if we click next to complete the, the mail merge. Um, and then if you hear up here, see up here, so you've got merged a new document, merged to printer, and merged to email I've, I've never used. Um, but so, so I'll just concentrate on these two. So merge the printer is essentially just going to send them to the printer to print. Um, and I'm going to just take some paper out of my printer because I don't actually want to print these six letters off. Um, so I'll go to a merged printer and then you get to choose all the records, the current record or from a certain record to another one. So I'm just going to press all and OK and then just going to bring up your printer um, and then I've only got the one printer, click OK and then it's sent it through to the printer it's going to print all six of those letters. Obviously it's not in this case so I've taken the paper out so I'm just going to go go into my printer and cancel that. I don't actually want it to print the mail merge. Um, what you quite often find is if you've got a thousand pages, some, some printers will start printing them straight away. Um, some printers will want want to, to, to spool, spool them all before they print them. So you'll, you'll, you'll notice that it, it, it's kind of going through the pages up to however many you've got and then and then does them all at the end. Um, so it depends on your printer. You'd obviously be better off having one that will start printing straight away because you don't want to be waiting around for, for five minutes whilst your, your printer loads up ready to print. So that's how you print it straight off. Or alternatively, um, and this is the option I normally use because then you get a record for yourself of the of the letters is merged to new document. And then again, I'll put all, click OK. And then it loads up a document and it will have for every letter it will just put them all in. So you see you've got Mrs. Gay Shim, uh, Miss, Miss Naomi Hennis, and Dr. Max Chamel and so on and so forth. So that that then you can save down. Okay, okay, this is my this is my mail merge for for such and such a date, so let's put 18th uh, October 2012. Um, just a just a just a tip for, for saving documents. If you put it in reverse order, 2012 October 18th, then they'll they'll order in a in a neater way because they'll order by year, month, or day rather than day, month, or year, which is a bit more fun order. So save that, and then again you can print the whole document. Um, and then that just gives you a record then as well, rather than having to, to recreate them. Or, um, if Obviously, if you change the template, you're not going to have a record of what the old letters were sent out as. So this is this is my preferable way. And then that's it for mail merges. And uh, thanks for listening to this tutorial, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.